Connecting to the real world through sensors and actuators is something that LabVIEW has been helping engineers do for over 23 years. An area where the need to sense and manipulate the real world is especially important is in mechatronics, the cross-discipline integration of electrical, mechanical, and computer engineering. And a very exciting area of mechatronics is robotics. And to talk about the latest in this area, please welcome Brian Powell and Megan Carey. Morning, guys. All right. You got a fan club up here, Brian. Now, I know you've been uh, at NI for over 20 years as part of the LabVIEW development team. Why'd you decide to get involved in robotics? Well, that's easy, John. It's because it's fun. <laughs> but it's also about helping people. We have healthcare robots, assistance robots, and robots that just take on the dull, dirty, and dangerous jobs in life. And improving everyday life is a core NI value, and I'm proud to be part of that. All right, so Brian, last year we had Dr. Dave Barrett up here on the stage, and he told the audience that, in his opinion, LabVIEW was the only professional development environment that could handle the sophisticated requirements of robotic systems. So is there really anything more we need to know? Well, Dave is a great friend and an influential leader in the robotics community. You talked about mechatronics, and as Dave points out, we need a strong system-level design tool that brings together those different disciplines. Dave and his students are doing amazing things with LabVIEW and robotics, so much so that they've been a catalyst for the creation of a new NI product. I'm proud to announce to the NI Week crowd for the first time, LabVIEW Robotics. Based on LabVIEW, LabVIEW Real-Time, LabVIEW FPGA, and the NI Rio platform, LabVIEW Robotics includes functions to sense, think, and act. We have sensor drivers for laser rangefinders, compasses, GPSs, IMUs. We have thinking algorithms for mapping, path planning, obstacle avoidance, and forward and inverse kinematics, and much more. So it sounds like some great technology we've included in this new product, uh, but for some of us that maybe aren't as familiar with the NI platform or with robotics, how could we get started? <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked, John. I'd also like to show you our starter kit robot, Danny. Danny is a robot that you can buy directly from NI. Based on the NI single board Rio platform, Danny includes all the software you need to get started with LabVIEW and robotics. It's a great prototyping tool, and the same technology used on Danny can also be used on much larger and more powerful robots. To learn more about the Vecna Bear robot that we saw earlier, let's hear from Daniel Theobald, president of Vecna Robotics. Thanks, Brian. You know, and I have to agree with John, it's really about time. Because when you come up with a new idea, you want to dive into the heart of your innovation and prove the concept quickly. So this is Bear, the world's most powerful, untethered anthropomorphic robot. The Bear was designed to help soldiers with the dangerous tasks they encounter every day. The Bear needs to be able to navigate challenging terrain and grasp, lift, and manipulate heavy objects quickly. So how did we do it? We started out with LabVIEW, and NI hardware, and we were able to quickly prototype the hydraulic system on the Bear robot, and then build a complete proof of concept system. At first, we had a tether between the Bear and the NI hardware, but when it was time to remove the tether, we were able to quickly port the control code from the DAC and the FPGA onto a C-Rio system that we put right in the robot's chest. And you know, the Bear recently returned from Fort Benning, where the Army was measuring its effectiveness at loading and unloading trucks, dealing with improvised explosive devices, building pallets, and rescuing casualties. You know it did great, thanks in large part to NI hardware and software. All right, thanks Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, John. You can see we've been doing a lot with LabVIEW and Robotics. All right. So it sounds like we got a lot of excitement and new technologies to help us in robotics. Megan, Brian, Daniel, thank you very much.